One of the questions that we get quite often is, should I be tracking my production at my full fee, or should I be tracking it at what I expect to collect um, with each individual PPO relationship? Of course, the basis of the answer really depends on why you're asking the question, right? If, if you're asking the question because you're talking about goals and tracking and looking for opportunity to grow the business, then there are many, 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 many reasons that you need to be tracking your production at what I call real production, which is full fee. But I want to talk to you about the biggest one. The biggest one is if you're asking because you want to discover opportunities, then you have to track it at full fee, and here's why. Here's why. Production and collection inside your dental business are two separate entities. Now, I know if you're working, if you're focused on working inside the business, it's easy to get those two things um, sort of bunched into one. You know, I can only collect what I produce. You know, it's not true. These are two very separate entities, and each of them have opportunities for improvement if you treat them separately. Look at it like this. On a Friday when you're closed, you may collect $7,000 from insurance or patient payments or whatever. Well, what would you produce? Well, you produce zero. Great. So you had a phenomenal collection rate that particular day. On other days where you work in, in uh, like a normal day, you could produce $5,000 that day. However, you may collect $7,000 total when you consider your ability to collect ahead of the production with third party, your past due accounts receivable from patients, your past due accounts receivable from insurance. So these two things are not in a vacuum totally dependent upon each other. If you think about it that way, now you have the opportunity, because of the way that you're tracking it, you have the opportunity at full fee, you have the opportunity to discover ways that you can improve your collection scenario. If you're not treating these two things as separate entities, and you're looking at your production as what you expect to collect with your, to collect with your insurance, then what we find is people are excited when they have, let's say, a 90% um, collection rate. But not, that 90% is not based on what they really produce. That 90% is based on the reduced amount based on what they expect to collect from the insurance. So there's somewhere around 15 to 20% that we find on a regular basis of opportunity for dollars that are left on the table that you can go collect. Now, if you start looking at these two things as separate and you track your full fee, now you realize I'm not collecting 90%, I'm collecting about 69 or whatever percent. Now I go, wow, I've got some opportunities to tighten up how it is I'm using financial arrangements, what it is that we're looking at in terms of you know, estimations, copays, all of those sorts of things. How are we handling accounts receivable? All of those kinds of things. And when I'm tracking it this way, I will find those opportunities. If you do not track it this way, and you're back here in the old school, and you don't even look at what your real production is, you just you just scratch it right off and go, hey, you know, I'm only going to collect. That's when you find a situation where you got two or three hundred thousand dollars sitting out there in accounts receivable, and you have money going out all the time that you're not able to get a hold of. Put your focus on working on your business. These are separate entities, and if you track them as such, you have the opportunity to go discover ways that you can grow your business. Do that, you'll find it, and your business will grow.